Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining us remotely, we have Sylvia Jabonski. She's Managing Director of Capital Markets and the Institutional ETF Strategist over at Direction. We're going to learn about using levered ETFs in a highly volatile market. Sylvia, it's great to have you with me as always. Can't wait to have you back at Market Site once we go back to our old normal. Uh, but markets right now, we are in a very unique a real unprecedented situation in the U.S. And, and globally, for that matter. Yeah, we sure are. Thanks so much for for having me, Joe. It's uh, definitely some unique times here, and um, the markets are certainly no exception. So, you know, we've just seen all sorts of volatility. We've seen so much drawdown. Um, you know, about thirty prior to today's open, it was thirty five percent off of uh, February lows for the S and P five hundred, and most of the other indices have followed suit. You know, we see a pop today, but that pop is also consistent with volatility. Um, you know, if you look at how volatile the markets are, it's it's pretty wild. We've been getting multiples of months of returns on a daily basis, and you know, I think fiscal stimulus and monetary stimulus are going to be a huge factor um, as to whether or not we can shore up confidence over time and, and get markets back into, as you said, an old normal here where, um, you know, we're talking about good trade ideas and not just how to bear for, uh, you know, brace for impact. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, let's learn more about direction levered ETFs, uh, what they are, why would an investor want to use them? Are they more appropriate with certain strategies versus others? So kind of walk us through what the levered ETFs are. Sure. So levered and inverse ETF products are essentially tactical tools for traders and um, sophisticated portfolio managers that are, you know, essentially very active in their portfolios. They understand, you know, the risks of the product and, um, you know, can, can sort of tolerate them. Um, but they're also for traders who can seek mag- who, who are looking to seek magnified exposure to specific indices. So what they do is for every hundred dollars you invest, they allow you to get two or three hundred dollars of exposure to the underlying index. So, you know, whether you you have a high conviction on an index in a bullish direction or a bearish direction, these ETFs can really amplify those returns over time. Um, the important thing about these ETFs, though, is that they rebalance on a daily basis. So the word time is very key here. You have to have an opinion both on volatility and the direction of a market when you hold them for longer than a day. So you want low volatile trending markets for longer holding periods. uh, And that's when the compounding really works in your favor. But for markets like this that are super volatile, you want to think short term. You really want to take the word daily rebalanced uh, fund literally. Yeah, and at Direction, you're talking to clients all the time, and a big portion of your clients are tactical traders, so they're looking at flight to safety, FLYT, QMJ, that you're long quality over short, bad quality, but I want to pull up our next chart here. This is the SPDN. Tell us more about what this fund is and how a PM, how a trader would use it in their portfolio. Sure. So SPDN, interestingly enough, um, it's been one of our sleepy ETFs for the last 10 years or so. Um, It's not an ETF that you probably would have asked me very much about um, because we were in this trending bull market for a really long time. And a lot of investors and hedgers um, and and RIAs that that used to hedge sort of, I think, got into a mindset of, I think I'm going to hedge less. The market's, you know, going up, the economy looks strong, the consumer is strong, job numbers are good. And, and, you know, so a lot of a lot of portfolios really weren't taking um defensive strategies online or or inverse products online but spdn is just that it's an inverse s p 500 etf so if the s p 500 goes index goes down a dollar this this etf goes up one dollar so it provides a one day view of inverse view of the s p 500 etf the difference between this etf though and, and our other 3x products is that you can buy and hold this for a longer period of time so this is an appropriate longer term hedge uh, for a portfolio. So for an investor that's looking for an inverse view, he thinks that the S&P is going to go straight down for a couple of days or weeks. Um, it's a great way to, to go long in an inverse ETF instead of you know shorting, trying to mess around with 
margins and uh, margin accounts and options and whatnot. It's just it's an easy equity trade um, or to hedge a portfolio. So if you have S&P 500 exposure, you know, I think most of the experts on the street would tell you don't recognize these massive losses right now. You kind of have to hang tight. And, you know, uh, the, the past 10 bear markets, um, you know, we've seen equities pull back every single time. But in the meantime, you want to you might want to hedge and soften that that ride by putting in an inverse S&P 500, um, which will, you know, go up basically when the S&P 500 goes down. All right, got it. And of course, there's something for everyone at Direction. So for longer term investors, uh, you're also recommending taking a look within uh, the tech space. And we can see that on our, our last chart here. Yeah, so our tech funds actually, um, th these would be because these are the three X funds. You know, they've worked. The, the tech bull fund has worked really well for longer term investors because, you know, again, we didn't have that volatility and the Fang names, um, all the big tech names were essentially trending upward for the last decade. But you know, now we're seeing the opposite. Actually, we're seeing um, the tech sector, although it's doing better than others, um, it, it is still trending down. So for tactical traders who are looking for amplified exposure to the bearish side of the trade. They can look at TECS, which uh, gives you the inverse performance of um, the technology index. So again, it could be a way to hedge or just express a very amplified view that tech will go down. Um, you know, once we see sort of a recovery and a rebound, and if, if we see that low volatile upward trajectory, I would assume that investors will look at the other side, the TECL, for the upward performance. All right, Sylvia, thanks for joining us as always. Look forward to seeing you back in Times Square. Thanks, Jill. That'll be a nice day when we're back yes. back in action. It, it definitely will. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.